my name is Christy Davis and this is my testimony. So I was born and raised in Buffalo, New York and I uh, was born into a very great Christian home. Uh, both my parents are believers and they've been married for 40 years. They work uh, for an organization that works with local church ministries and I was saved at a young age. When I was five years old we were in the car on our way to an event that my parents were doing and I remember it was one of my earliest memories and my brother we were in the back seat and my brother was uh, explaining to me the gospel that I was very much a sinner and needed Jesus Christ as my savior. The only way that I could get to heaven um, was through him. And I remember him asking me if I wanted to accept Christ into my life and I said yes. And so uh, my brother led me to the Lord that day. From that point on I continued going to church. Um, learning about God and His Word, reading my Bible, uh, although I would say I still struggle to do so every day and really um, develop a more serious relationship with the Lord un until later on in life. Um, when I was 10 years old, I had my first seizure. And at the time, we were actually on our way to Disney World. We were driving from Buffalo, New York to Orlando, Florida. Uh, in the car and we had stopped overnight at a hotel and in the morning I passed out on the bathroom floor and we didn't really know um, what was going on or what the reason for it was. Uh, we didn't, at the time we didn't know that it was a seizure because it didn't really look like one. It was more of just blacking out. And for the next several years, I had about one seizure a year on average, and we didn't really know um, what what was wrong. Uh, we I've been to the doctor. I've been um, tested for diabetes that runs in my family, and just to try and see what the cause was, and um, no one was really sure. And, so I would have these episodes. Um, I could kind of start to tell when they would come on right beforehand, but um, just a few minutes beforehand and, and leading up to that though, I just, I wouldn't know that it was going to happen. And so it was kind of scary, um, just not knowing when I might have one and, and really not knowing what the cause was. And it was something that um, we, I really had to, to trust the Lord in. Um, it's kind of just a scary thing to have uh, health issues that, you know, I'm sure many people do that you don't really know um, what's going on. So I uh, dealt with that for many years. Um, fast forward through high school, I, I went to a two-year Bible college in New York uh, after I graduated high school. And I after uh, that, I really felt the Lord uh, calling me to move to Texas and in 2009 to finish my college degree, my bachelor's degree, at the seminary in Fort Worth at their college there. So I, that really took a, a big leap of faith on my part. I'd never been to Texas. I'd never been even to the campus. Um, my parents came down and uh, checked it out for me while I was working at a summer camp in New York and they really felt like it was a good place uh, for me to be as well. And so I, I moved down here and um, in 2011, it was uh, in January and I had uh, another seizure episode where I actually was injured this time, uh, the other times uh, I was um, thankfully protected from any major harm, um, but this one I had uh, fallen. I was in my apartment uh, with my roommates and no one else was up yet, um, but they came running because I heard a big crash and I had fallen and um, actually cut open my eyelid and so they took me to the ER and I had to get stitches. and. Um, that was really a big turning point. Um, I think God used that. I went to see a neurologist that they recommended me to and she had some tests done 
and she confirmed that uh, I had in fact been having seizures all these years and so after about uh, 12 years I finally had an ans somewhat of an answer uh, that I have epilepsy so now I'm on medication for that and uh, it, it's helped tremendously I've only had a few seizures in the past seven years which is a huge huge decrease um, but even with that I still you know have struggled with worries and fears um, throughout throughout my life and uh, really just having to trust the Lord in, in many instances. In 2011, I got married to my wonderful husband, Michael, and uh, we met at the college. And uh, 2016, I became pregnant with our first child. And even throughout that pregnancy, I really had to trust the Lord and because it, it's a serious, can be a serious thing if you have a seizure while you're pregnant and it's not always um, safe for the baby. And so even just uh, worrying about that and worrying that I would have one or worrying about having to go through labor um, and having one during labor uh, was something I really had to trust the Lord in. But God answers prayer, and we wound up having a scheduled C-section, and I didn't have to worry about going through labor and worry about having a seizure, and everything went just perfectly and smoothly, and now we have our beautiful daughter who is 15 months old now, and uh, the Lord has really taught me through all of this, even after uh, she's been born and um, even just worrying about little things about her getting sick or falling and getting hurt. Uh, just that he's really in control of everything. And I don't need to worry about things that may or may not happen and that I can't control. And so I've really just um, given over everything to him and uh, I want to read some verses. It's Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which pass surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And so those are just um, some verses that I really clung to uh, throughout my life, really. And just uh, letting God have full authority over my life has been something that He's really taught me. You know, the Christian life is not just one of um, striving towards something and you reached it and you're done. It's really a, a daily, daily thing. Um, or you're depending on the Lord and depending on Him and allowing the Spirit to grow you and it's something that, that's ongoing throughout your whole life and I, I've learned that through um, just my struggles with worry and, and fears and even with being a stay-at-home mom just you know worrying that I'll be home alone with our daughter and I'll have a seizure and and I might drop her or or something like that um, but I know that uh, the Lord is looking out for both of us and he's protected both of us and that's something that my mom said to me um, was just that she said you know you, you can't live your life in fear and then she's absolutely right and part of not living your life in fear is, is trusting the Lord in everything. And so my husband and I plan to have more kids in the future and, and I'm excited about that. And I know that uh, God is going to be right there with me and with us uh, throughout those times as well. And he is the youth pastor at our church and so I get to help out and serve alongside the youth, him in the youth ministry. and and just um, love on the students and, and they 
love on us and as well and, and on our family, which I really, really think that's great. My name is Christy and this is the real me.